So obviously you've spent a fair bit of time in football now, and uh, can you just give a wee bit of background just to which clubs you've been at? Yeah, aye. Well, I was uh, a banky through the 70s into the late 80s. Then my playing career took me to Hamilton Hackies, Queen of the South and Stranra. Uh, I then joined SFA as the community coach and covered that show. You know, it's a bit back to the future, really. Uh, Western Bankshire Council. So I was uh, the football development officer here for a good eight years. Then I joined SFA under the Women's International Programme. And that expanded. I was there for seven years. Then I got the opportunity to go to England, which I took, and I was down there for three and a half years. And then uh, a further opportunity came to me to travel to uh, Kosovo, of all places, and uh, established a football academy over there in Kosovo. Then I come back there after 18 months, and uh, I started a small business of my own in relation to developing football opportunities called Real Football. And then Gilbert contacted me and asked if I would like to take over for Jim, who was leaving to go to Annan. And so I picked up the pieces and took on the challenge in March this year. And so far it's been very interesting indeed. And it was a great year that the youth teams had this year. You been impressed with the setup? Oh, the yeah. setup's first class. I mean, the club's well run. There's no date here. Um, the infrastructure is fantastic. But as we mentioned earlier, Andrew, that it's it's the people that make the infrastructure. And the Dumbarton and the club know they're very fortunate to have the banker coaches they have working within the youth development initiative. Uh, we have thirteens, fourteens, fifteens, and seventeens, and we've got two coaches at each level. And these guys are dedicated sons of the rock. Currently, just now, the club are a two-star rating. Uh, so we have 13s, 14s, 15s and 17s. And yeah, as you say, Andrew, the, the, the programme's been successful. This year, we've had Joe Coleman, Ali McCarricker and Josh Slumsden all signing pro contracts for the 17s. And that, that's a group of players who have been here since they were 13. So again, that then again highlights the work that Richie, David, um, Craig, Stuart, um, Tony and John and uh, Alan and Scott are doing, covering all the age groups, you know, each co two coaches to each age group and, you know, as I say, they're dedicated coaches who support the players in every way. You know, people underestimate the work they do um, in relation to that. It's not just coaching a team, it's dealing with young men and uh, they do a fantastic job for us. And we're hoping to build on that, develop it for the, the, the future. The club are very visionary. They're also thinking ahead. We've introduced a 19s for the new season, 13-14. That's exciting. That's further expense the club are taking on, but they're looking to invest in that. We've got Ian, as you all know, Ian Murray. He's a young manager. He's got an eye to youth. But the club see that as the future, developing their own. And... The priority, of course, is to give the local lads the opportunity, but we stretch our net much further than that, you know, as talent comes from all walks of life and all areas. But primarily, we're looking to give the, the people of Western Barnshire and certainly Dumbarnshire players the opportunity to join a pro youth cell and maybe mark out a career for themselves. And with the likes of Joe and Ali and Joshua signing the professional contracts, mm -hmm. yeah. Gives the rest of the boys something to look up oh, to. Oh, it's a great motivation to them, you know, that they'll get the opportunity here. And, you know, I received a letter from a lad in Kent about his grandson who stays in Scotston. And in his letter he's intimated that Dumbarton have a reputation of giving youth an opportunity. And I'll tell any youth player, you come here, you'll get the chance. You show the proper ability, the proper attitude, the correct desire and dedication. We'll push you forward to the first team. Because internally there's a great pathway now from the youth initiative to the 19s and onward to the first team. And people will get the chance here. And obviously that's, that. yeah, that's great for the young boys coming in, but it's also, also good for the club. I mean, they, they kind of need to rely, all clubs need to rely on the youth system. How important is that? Oh, it's for the absolutely vital in this time of austerity. You know, there's no money. You look at the state of the game, you know, every penny's a prisoner. And yet the club here have taken the decision... And a great decision to 
introduce the 19s because you know how important the stepping stones are for youth development because that's where your players come from. You know, the boys clubs are the area of the lifeblood of the game and that then opens up the club to have a better profile in the community and link to the community. You know, this is underused here. We, we're looking, I'm looking to promote that and improve the profile of Dumbarton Football Club within Dumbarton and beyond. Come and we'll help. They're very open-minded, very visionary, and they're all dedicated men to the club's the cause, and we would look to build the news up. And uh, do you think these three, three signing this summer, do you think that can just be, just be the start, really, and over the next few seasons oh, we see more and more people making there's, a step up? There's, there's, we're excited about the potential in the current under-17s. The, the under-17s, under-club academies, split in dual age, 17-year-olds and 16-year-olds. To normal football people, that's an under-17 team. But so, it's a first year and second year 17s. So it's from the second year 17s that McCarricker, Coleman and Lumsden's been signed. Mm -hmm. the, the nine of them will go to the 19s now, and the remaining seven will stay with the 17s for another year. But the potential in them, as well as the potential in the nine, is really exciting. That's why they've been retained here. Because we're hoping that they'll now take a step and fulfil the potential and be motiv motivated by the opportunity that Joe Alley and uh, Josh have been given. And if, as I say, they perform, they work hard, never any guarantees, but they will get a shot at it here. They will get the chance to say, aye, he gave me an opportunity. Has he been ready? Has it happened? And that's football. Uh, so football's taken you all over the world, but you seem to be just as passionate now about it. Oh, it's a sport, it's, it's my life. I've been in it for over 45 years. I've been everywhere. I've been very fortunate. I've experienced different cultures in America. When the Steedman sold up, they actually opened a place in North Carolina, Charlotte. And uh, I went over there for 15 years, every summer, developing that programme. You know, I've been in England, I've been in most European countries, you know. It's, aye, it's given me a good life. I'm, I'm not a rich man. I've still got to work for a living and I enjoy that, but I do love the game and I would like to use all these experiences and skills or whatever you want to call it to improve the programme here and give more opportunities to everybody that uh, would like the opportunity.